Okay. Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahawa Shah. Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahawa Shah. Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahawa Shah. All praises to Yahawa. Bahashem. Yahawa Shah. Bahashem. Bukak Wadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, you I came out there. That's pushes where the truth is a city. This is going to be a real quick lesson. We're going to go into the book of Joel, the second chapter. You know, going into what's going to happen to America, man. Thermonuclear destruction, man. You know, so, hey, so, like I said, we're not going to make this lesson too long. We're going to get straight into the point that we're going to end it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, it's like if you're a little. A little dark in here, brothers, man, but y'all gonna hear the word, man. But that's right. what that matters. The word's being brought out, man, you know? You know, even though I can see, and I'm quite sure you brothers can see us, but hey, man, the truth of the matter is, man, we just bringing out the word, man. So if you don't see our faces, this is the um, the elder um, Palau and Yahweh, though, man, you know, Shalom. So we just gonna go into the word, you know what I'm saying? So this is, um, this is uh, the book of Joel 2 verse 1 Blow ye the trumpet in Zion And sound an alarm in my holy mountain And that's what we do when we blow the trumpet That trumpet is the word of the Most High And we sound an alarm in the Most High's holy mountain Which is Israel man You know We we bringing out the words of the Most High And we direct it towards the elect of Israel You know Those that's slain it to Those that's meant to get this word man We're directing it to them You know And we pushing this word and the two thirds, they're not going to get it. They're being condemned by the words of the Most High, as well as Esau and the rest of the nations, man. It says, Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Hey, man, the day of the Lord, yo, hey, let all the inhabitants of the land of America tremble, for the day of the Lord, which is thermonuclear destruction, concentrated fire from them chariots, when Yahweh shall bust them skies. With the holy angels, that that's the day of the Lord, man. Thermonuclear destruction and Yahweh shot busting them clouds and and um shooting concentrated fire for them chariots, man, which is laser beams, you know. Verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. And that's what's gonna happen, man. Once them thermonuclear missiles hit, it's gonna produce a big mushroom cloud, and it's gonna be a day of darkness and of gloominess because it's, I guarantee you that that the nuclear missiles are going to hit in the in the um in the early hours of the day, so to speak, 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, probably earlier than that, and it's going to turn the it's going to turn the skies from bright to thick darkness, to gloominess, man. And also that gloominess representing the you know the the um the the deep shit that's going to happen, man, the martial law and all the rest of the things that's going to happen, man, bring it. Yeah, also, you know, people ain't going to know what the fuck is going on. Cut. So, understanding it, understanding is going to be, you know what I'm saying, eradicated from this earth, man. Cut. You know, so the minds of the people are going to be, are going to be dark too, man. Not, not only the, the skies itself, you know, and not only the situation, but people ain't going to know what the hell is going on, man. At all. It says, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong. It says, and that great people is not talking about actual people. It's talking about icy bear missiles, man. Right. It's not talking about people, man. Let's 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 correct that right there. Let's get that straight. It's not talking about people. That's a metaphor mm -hmm. for ICBM, hypersonic, supersonic, and regular thermonuclear missiles, man. Because right now the American government they're accusing Russia for violating the I, the intermediate. Nuclear Force Treaty that was established in 1985, 1887, by Mikhail Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan. But in all actuality, you know, it's the American government that's violating the treaty because what they was doing behind closed doors was they was developing another nuclear warhead, which was a smaller warhead. It's called the W76-2, man. Being about to be distributed to the armies and to the Navy in September, man. The first batch, man, which is going to be like 25. That's why Gad called him Fork Tongue, man. Cut, you know man. what I'm saying? They, they, they say one thing, you come in peace, just like they do in Venezuela. Yeah, we come in peace, man. We want to overthrow this, this this mafia government. 
really what they're after is that that oil. That's right. In, in Venezuela, man. You that's mentioned all after. And, and that, that's why, um, you know, in, in, in what it was in Britain, they don't want to give Venezuela their gold back. Yeah, they took 20 tons of, of Venezuelans gold because of the by the hands of the United States government, they told Great Britain to hold on to it. That's why you don't never give... You know, that's why I don't really trust banks, man. Because once you give the money, right, the man. banks, to, your money, the bank to the banks, your money's going. Already. It's not yours no more, man. It's not in your. If, 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 if it's not in my pocket, mm -hmm. or I can't go into my stash and count it, it's not mine, man. That's why you might cash your check. Your check might be a thousand dollars. You cash that shit. Guess what? You can only use two hundred dollars, man. That's right. But as soon as you take, you, you put your money in there. They take it and they use it, man. They invest it, man. That's right. That's what they do with your money, man. That's right. It says a great people. And and strong. It says, there has never been the like, neither shall there be any more after it, even to years of many generations. It's going to be, it's going to be it's, because it's, this, this is going to be a thermonuclear war, man. It's going to be no other war like like this war, even to the years of gen, many generations. You know why? Because, you know, after Esau get taken out of his rulership, there's going to be no need for any more wars, man. Why? Because it's going to be, a, it's going to be Esau is the end of the world, pursuant to second edge of the sixth chapter. The seven, I'm saying, um, second edge of six, verse six and seven, man, on down to nine, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is that which followeth, man. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So there's gonna be need for, there's gonna be no more need for any more wars, man. That's why it's gonna be never the like before, because Esau he's going out in dramatic fashion, man. The so-called white man is gonna be destroyed utterly, man. There's gonna be no more rulership for Esau, man. He's going into slavery. Pursuant to second, pursuant to Isaiah, the, the 24th chapter of the, the um, 21st verse on down, the Most High is going to punish the host of the high was after the Most High bringing that thermonuclear destruction. Yeah, that's that's right, it. bro. Uh, verse 3. It says, A fire devoured before them, and behold, a flame burneth. It's like, and behind them, a flame burneth. The land is as is as the, the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness because you know you got to look at it this way america has a lot of greenery america in the midwest is beautiful man a lot of greenery a lot of um acres and acres and acres of beautiful land man yep. trees um greenery flowers plants you know yeah like if you drive like upstate or you going see, towards canada you, you see, see nothing but a bunch of beautiful yeah, greenery man, man. See nothing but green to me, man. Farms and all that, man. So what about the Midwest, Nebraska, yeah. and the yep. Wyoming? You know, straight beautiful greenery. That's why it says the fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burn up. The land is as as the Garden of Eden before mm -hmm. and after a desolate wilderness. Because before the nuclear missiles hit, you're going to see straight greenery, beautiful pasture, flowers, trees. You know, acres and acres of like I said, man, beautiful of land, man. beautiful land, man. But after the nuclear missile was hit, it's going to be a desolate wilderness, man. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what the scriptures is explaining, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, boy, you want? Yeah. No. Uh, it says, um, And behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, nothing shall shall escape. Not, nothing shall escape them. Uh, verse 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Like I said, man, it's not talking about actual horsemen. The appearance of them, because they're going to be in the formation of how they're going to be shot off, man. Because pursuant to Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, the ninth verse, the Most High is going, is going to arise and cause to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations. The way they have their military formation, the way they shoot the missiles off, is going to be like the appearance of horsemen. But it's talking about actual, actual ICBM nuclear missiles, man. It's not talking about actual horsemen. It's talking about nuclear missiles, man. ICBM nuclear missiles. That's what it's talking about. Yeah, after the first four, we can cut it short. Oh, okay, verse five. Then. Uh, it says, "Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they leap? Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth in the stubble." It says, "A strong people set in battle array." And that's about the nuclear missiles coming to destroy America, man. Mm -hmm. That strong people is not representing the actual. It's not talking about actual people. It's talking about. It's talk about um, ICBM nuclear missiles shot off from these different nations, man. That's gonna come up against America. That's right, man. Uh, you see, you people have not a clue what's going on, man. These scriptures are speaking metaphor. These, these scriptures speak in, 
and um and um it's like a mystery is this like in codes yeah bring it up yeah. so Hosea 12 and 10 I have also spoken by the prophets and multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets now similitudes is basically speaking in a riddle man you know speaking in a, in, a, in a dark form just like I was I said in um uh Matthew uh, 13 and 11 to you it is given but to them is not man you know so this, this scriptures not everybody gonna understand it you know I mentioned that earlier man that's why the Lord spake the scriptures and, and he he didn't say you know America is Babylon you know he didn't say that man you know he, he wrote the scriptures in a mystery because only a certain elect is going is going to understand it man that's right. you know so that's what you know going back to word similar to is like you know comparing a word comparing a, comparing a word to something man you know like like you know the missiles he compared to what serpents man you know or or, or arrows that's right that's or horsemen horsemen yeah you know and so you know we just want to bring out that how America the most side setting the stage for America to be to be to be destroyed because he's he's setting the stage meaning he's setting meaning he's bringing out he's having certain scrimmages break out now he have America intervening in in in, 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 uh, in um Venezuela and bringing a coup there and having Russia, Iran, Turkey, and China come up against America telling, telling them that, yeah, man, this butt out of the affairs of, of Venezuela. Because why? They got, they got, um, they got, um, dealings over there. They got their, their money tied up over in the Venezuelan government. You got the Iranian government and the Russian government that has military ties with them also. The American, the, 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 the Russian government has $12 billion in, um, and um, gold mining assets that they have with the um, Venezuelan government. So they got they got um, financial ties and military ties with that government, man. And here it is: you got you got the rightful president that belonged in Maduro, whatever his name is, and they trying to yeah, set their puppet up, man. Set their puppet by doing the military coup, man. You know, and they 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 um. Doing what they doing to them, man. They um they blackballing them, man. You know, they, they basically what's that what's that word I'm looking for, man? Try to make somebody look bad. Um, um demonizing. Demonizing. Them. They demonizing the guy, man. You know, they they calling him a a, a mafia leader and all, and all that shit, man. And that's what America does, man. That's their mo, man. You know, demonize a, a a nation, and they have the stupid ass American people believe what they say, man. You know? That's right. First they it's five stages to a coup. And um the brothers the car brought it out. I can't I I can't remember all of them, but I know that demonization and and um sanctions is two of them. You first you put the sanctions, then yeah. you get the people to uprise. Uprising, sanctions, then demonization. That's three. Double two, I forget. You get the people to uprise first. First you put the um the, the sanctions there. Then you get then 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 you start the demon no the demonization campaign first then, then the, the sanctions. sanctions then you get the um the people uprising by by putting your um your anarchists out there putting people out there to to provoke the people to um to riot and loot but it's called anarchy yeah then then you know last days of course come in and take over yeah know? to yeah. oust the the rightfully mm -hmm. um leader that was democratically elected that's what they did with um Saddam. And, you know, that's what he did in Afghanistan, man. You they know? also did it in 2002 with, um, with, um, this yeah. dude who died, the Vince, one of the president, um, Venezuela? Hugo Chavez, man. Oh, Chavez, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, did it yeah. to Chavez in 2002. Yeah. They, they said, and the reporters were saying, um, that's the reason Venezuela's in the predicament that they, they're in because of the sanctions that America put on them. They could, because, you hey, know? man, that's how they do it, man. They destroy a nation from within. And who suffers? Not the elite of the, of that nation, but the poor. Mm hmm you know, so, hey man, so hey, and you Venezuelans, uh, hey man, it's on you for giving them goddamn devils your gold, man. The fuck can't you hold your own goddamn gold for, man? You know, you should know better than to trust your own enemy, man. You know, hey, and hey, to be honest, it's good for you, man, for trusting the so-called white man. You know, never trust thy enemy. Never trust thy enemy, man. You know? you know, you seen what he did to your brothers. You know, us. Seen what he did to Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know. The Haitians, the Negroes, and the, and the, and the, and the you know, the brothers from the the, the, the Trinidad, Trinidadians, Jamaicans, and all that, you know, you should learn from that, man. But they're not gonna learn because they 
got their head so, so far stuck up Esau, the so-called white man's That's ass, right, man. that they can't see past what they're doing, man. That's right. Now you got a military coup in your country, and they're trying to oust you from being the president. That's right, man. So now you know that the, that, that the white man is the devil. Mm -hmm. Also, that word devil means slanderer. And they slandering that that um President Maduro, demonizing him, slandering him. Hence, they got the coup going on to try to oust him, man, to put a puppet in that's going to play game, that's going to play ball with them. Mm -hmm. And give up their resources. So and you got to look at it. It's like it, but yeah, you got to yeah. look at it. Maduro was the vice president to Hugo Chavez. Mm -hmm. So, hey, when Hugo Chavez got, when, when you assassinated Hugo Chavez, that's what it was, an assassination. When you assassinated Hugo Chavez. Yeah, what did, um, you was telling me yeah. last week that, um. That, um, Fidel Castro. Told him, you know. When, when you come to the urine assembly, eat, don't drink, eat, don't drink anything, man. Yeah, don't eat, drink, or anything, man. <laughs> you this, know what I'm saying? This, 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 you gotta, s s do your speech, mm -hmm. say your speech, and leave, man. That's it, man. Nah, yeah. this dude want to want to hang out with the with the with the uppity ups, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And they poison him. And he, it could have been with him because when Hugo Chavez died, is it was brought out that um by Jake Mafonio that that his his inner circle fled. So they was poisoning him, man. It was a molar that poisoned him. Yes, right. Gave him cancer. So hey, but that we're not gonna bring this, this is gonna be a short lesson. We just wanted to bring out a few points of how America is going to be destroyed, how America is being set up by the Most High to be destroyed, man. That's right, man. In Venezuela, you ain't never going to see that gold again, man. So kiss Forget that about that shit, man. man. You know, that's just done. That's right. You know? See, so you, hey, when well, you got Russia involved with Venezuela, you got the Ukraine situation, you got Syria situation. Russia's involved with Syria. Ukraine is on its border. Venezuela. Hey, so it's always Russia involved with something that's America have their nose in. So that's going to lead to them arrows coming from the North Country. And them arrows are nuclear missiles. Yeah. Uh, let's, let me just bring this out since we're on it. This is uh, Ezekiel 38 and 10. Thus saith the Lord, it shall come to pass that at the same time things shall come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And that thing that's going to come into the Russians' mind, Vladimir Putin, wherever president is, is to shoot missiles off on America because America is causing mischief throughout the four corners of the earth, bringing their hegemony, man. It says, verse 11, And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. And what's the land of unwalled villages? It's not America. It's not Donald Trump complaining about America that has no war and everybody that's streaming in, all, all, kind of, all kind of criminals and everybody, all kind of immigrants coming in. There's no war. The land of unwalled villages is America, man. Hmm? It says, That dwellers safely like it. And I will go to them that are at rest and dwell safely, and all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. That's about America, man. Mm -hmm. That's about America to the fullest. Because America is a land without any walls, without any gates. Anybody can come in. This is the great melting pot where all nations dwell here. And they're trying to keep it that way. So, Don so um, Donald Trump has come up with this idea of a war, they at least not let that happen. So hence, Vladimir Putin said gonna come up against the, the land of unwalled villages, man. You know, that's what talking about America. I mean, it's more. Verse 12, yeah, last verse. It says, to take a spoil and to take, to take a prey, to turn the hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of many nations. <laughs> yeah, it's about America. It's you cold, that part yeah, down, man? People gather out of many nations, man. What's America called? The Great Melting Pot, man. This is fairly talk. Going back to what I said earlier, man. That's why the Lord speak unto them in mysteries, man. You know, right here it should have said America, but the Lord said, no, "I'm not gonna put America, man. I won't make you figure it out, man." You know what I'm saying? This is not for everybody, man. Because it says, "And upon the people that are gathered out of out the nations." which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. You know, them stinking ass Arabs come up and set up they, they stinking ass shops, stinking ass African, set up they stinking ass shops. The Chinese. Chinese set up they fucking dog and cat food spots. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's going into, man. Yeah, so, hey, so with that, man, you know, we're going to close it out. You know, a real quick lesson. 
you know, Abba Rath Zah, you came out there is edified. And we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem, Bakakwadash. And once again, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hey, Shalom, Akim. We almost out this bitch, man. Shalom. Shalom.